From 2014, every organisation registered with a CQC will have a statutory duty of candour. Patients must be told promptly about any avoidable harm, but there will be a statutory requirement to notify any harm that has led to avoidable death or serious injury. We will consult on whether hospitals that are found not to have been open and transparent with patients or families at the earliest reasonable opportunity should risk having their indemnity from litigation awards reduced or removed by the NHS Litigation Authority. The signal must go out loud and clear from hospital boards and chief executives to all clinicians, if in doubt, report an incident and tell the patient. The professional regulators have agreed to place a new strengthened professional duty of candour on all doctors and nurses, failing to inform a patient not reporting avoidable harm or obstructing someone else seeking to do so will be subject to sanctions, including being struck off. Inspired by the airline industry, this duty will cover near misses, occasions when mistakes were made that could have led to harm and from which we need to learn. Conversely, prompt reporting may be considered as a mitigating factor in a professional conduct hearing. This is not about penalising staff for making mistakes, it's about enabling them to learn from them. The NHS will adopt a culture of learning, as recommended by Professor Don Berwick and his expert committee, and I thank them for their seminal report. A culture of openness also means learning from complaints. In line with the recommendations of the Right Honourable Valley, uh, Member for Kynon Valley and Professor Tricia Hart's excellent review, all patients will be able to access independent help in making their complaint with clear signs in every ward explaining how to do so. The Chief Inspector of Hospitals will inspect complaints handling to establish whether trusts are genuinely seeking to understand and learn from them. Every quarter, trusts will publish the number of complaints received and lessons learned, and the Health Service Ombudsman will dramatically increase the number of cases that she looks at in detail. Mr Speaker, it's impossible to deliver safe care without safe staffing levels. All hospitals will be required to monitor their staffing levels on a ward-by-ward -ward basis, analysing precisely how many shifts meet safe staffing guidelines. By the end of this year, this will be done using models independently approved by NICE. No hospital will be able to conceal unsafe staffing from the public, because from next June, all this data, both at ward and hospital level, will be published alongside other safety data on a new NHS safety website, triggering CQC action if there's cause for concern.